what's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm uploading the last q a session that i hosted on friday it was a pretty good session we talked about candlesticks traps trading plan and um i'm decided to upload it so those who missed this session can also um enjoy let's not waste any time and get into the session The time frame is really important, okay? You should know, so let's say, let's say we got a DMA around here and this is a buy, this is a sell candle respecting it. And let's say you expect price to push all the way up. And if this is one hour time frame, you are looking at four 15 minutes candle that has to be closed before this another hourly candle form here okay let me just so this week right here from this low and this week down here if you're going 15 minutes this might be a candle close below this average or when you go back up to one hour or um, 30 minutes, you will see that it will turn to weak. And what I was trying to say in the chat was that a lot of times these candles are moving against our direction, but in a way that it's manipulated, it's meant to mess with our emotion, right? So let's show some example here if we can find. We do have a bullish engulfing in one hour. Personally, I would be interested to buy right here. But then we see this V coming all the way down to here. So now we go in 15 minutes and try to find the same exact candle. All right, so look at that. Bearish engulfing and then price kind of close below DMA, throw it weak down here, start respecting to this average. But when you look at, looking at it in one hour, it is a confirmation for your entry. It could stop you out, yes, but all I'm trying to say, don't let a 15 minutes candle that is working to complete that one hour or four hour candle, don't let that uh, craziness fool you, okay? Pay really close attention to higher time frame candles. And it's really rare that a 15 minutes candle give you a signal and play out against the four hour signal or one hour signal that was, you know, given in previous candles. Bullish engulfing up here, it did go down, but within three hours, price was all the way back up there. All right, these things are important. It allows you to have less stress. And when you see price coming against you, you're not gonna closing it too early, closing it because you thought it's gonna coming back to you. So if you look at four hour, you can see um, you have a bullish engulfing here, a DMA reject here. So if you get into, if you come up with the reasons that this is gonna go up, no matter if 15 minutes is completely broken or whatever, even in one hour, you know the four hour has more credit, right? So let's go into trading plan, guys. Let's talk about trading plan a little bit. Um, I don't wanna take a lot of your time. Uh, first of all, it's really disappointing for the 14% not having trading plan. You have zero chance to making it in this business if you don't have trading plan. I'm serious. Doesn't matter what you think, without trading plan, you have almost no chance of making it. And when I'm talking about trading plan, I am not talking about the strategy. I am talking about the basic principles of risk and limits, targets, special 
um, numbers that you have to know in order to take the right action anytime that it is you know necessary. So let's give you an example. I always tell to my students that when you write in your trading plan, you have to make sure all the questions that comes in your mind during live trade, there has to be an answer right into your trading plan for it. Should I close my trade now? What your plan says. Should I get in? Is it your pair? Is it your time? Is it your setup? What position size should I get in? You have to have the risk parameter. I lost 5%. Should I get into another trade? What your plan says. I made 10%. Should I get into more trade? What your plan says. The next important thing about your trading plan is the rules, not a strategy. Please don't take me wrong. I don't like when your plan says, I'll go four hour, then I'll go one hour. I find this, I find that. These things are nothing that you should have in your trading plan, guys. Your trading plan need to have a very simple rules for your strategy. For example, Brandon has a push pullback accumulation or like, you know, all those three, four reasons that are pretty much same thing for the past year. Or for myself, four hour bullish or bearish engulfing, confirm the DMA and confirm the price action using DMA for the analysis um, and then confirm your entry again using DMA. That's it. So for my trading plan, I only wrote safety trade. That's it. Nothing else. I already know what I'm looking for. And I don't have to explain what I should learn in access on my trading plan. Now, what is on my trading plan? I have my max daily loss. I have my max weekly loss. I have my max monthly loss. So I know where to press that break, not allowing my accounts to you know, lose more than my limit. That will allow me to um, stay in the game longer, have more chance to take. The next thing very important on your trading plan, the <clears throat> max trade for the day, what risk percentage is for your trade per trade, when are you going to go break even, what's your take profit uh, plan? Are you going to be uh, one to two, one to three, 50 pip, you're going to trade, whatever that is, you just got to um, do it. The next thing I needed to, I need on your trading plan is your targets. The target for daily, target for weekly, target for monthly. Okay. And when you have all of these together, now you have a chance to actually compete and have a chance to make money in this market. Other than that, you are just playing around. You're just checking out the market. You, you're just there, see price are moving. You have no idea what you're doing. Even though you think you have idea what you're doing without plan, trust me, over a year, you have no idea what you're doing. In part of your trading plan, you can have a no trading condition. That's what I have, which is no trading on weekend for me, not holding over it. And in terms of high impact news, you can say no trading during the news. But for me, if I see all the rules is there, I'm taking my chance. I don't care if it's news. So um, that's the training plan video. You, you need to come to these videos and then all the videos have the thumbnail with the correct, basically topic here. Um, trading plan should be down here. Yeah, there you go. So that's the 
trading plan and risk management. It's really important, guys. This sessions, this session is really important. So please go ahead, watch it, and like <laughs> the video for me. Let's talk about GU Canada still drop to one point three seven four. Um, let's see. 1.374 down here looking at four hour yeah it's definitely possible um it would be this zone here and it is the dma in four hour and usually when i see price having this m formation bearish engulfing in four hour this is indication for me that price is in a starting induction right induction ends to dma so yes it is possible definitely for price to come back down but be aware that in one hour you're already seeing a daily structure consolidation breakout w formation bullish engulfing so price can definitely come back up right now for me it's Friday, New York session almost, uh, you know, just started, but I don't even trade New York session. If it's not NFE, usually don't even trade NFE much. Great question, bro. Risk per trade, risk percentage per trade, you should have, so let's say between one to three, I don't even recommend three. I think 1% is, very good a great percentage to risk your money and you will see why so let's say i have one percent per trade okay and then i told you that you should have a max um, trade for your day too so let's say i choose to have i choose to set my max um, day trade on five for the day so i will say okay I can only take five trade per day. And I just said, I want to have it 1% risk per trade. That means if everything goes south, we're losing 5% for the day. Are you comfortable losing 5% for the day? If yes, then that's your limit. If you're not happy with 5% lose for the day, then you ask yourself, what is the percentage that I'm comfortable? Three, all right. So I'm going to have 1% risk per trade and I will stop trading for the day if I lose three trade. So now you have your max daily loss. After that, you can now um, talk about the weekly. We know that we have five days in a week. If you set your limit for 3% after five days, if you have a really bad week, you're down 15%. Are you comfortable with it? If no, you bring down that limit. You'll be like, no, I'm maximum, maximum. Um, I want to lose less than 10%. So that means if you lose three days, if you hit your max daily loss, for three days in a week, you stop trading for the whole week. And same thing goes for the weekly. And as a result of this, if 90% of traders lose 90% of their account in 90 days, you give yourself a chance to do it in 180 days, 120 days. Okay? And this giving yourself more chance allows you to learn more you know blowing accounts it's something that you should be okay with it when you're learning i did 21 right i think 22 actually so when you have these max losses for yourself you you don't allow that thing you know, if you are about to blow your accounts within three months, you do it in five months. Therefore, this five months, you will learn two months of more lessons for free just by having these max losses. GG, 
there is a course for uh, mini traps because they are there there's different ways but my favorite kind of setups for traps that i can go over um uh, yes on my youtube channel <laughs> thank you um my favorite trap setup is the book that i have what dumb money do it's for where a trend is created um support resistant is obvious the break and retest happens and the reversal you know happens that's something like this and i would usually predict it here i get entry here a really really good setup a very good setup with this simple pattern that i told you you can right now go ahead and spend your whole weekend back testing this one setup that i told you i promise you next week you you will have a better result so that's basically the best thing i can tell you about um uh, my trap trading that's the best one all right guys that is pretty much it thank you again for joining we have 40 people in um if you have any question feel free to message me i'm in gpg community we do have uh boats now that you can earn prizes and stuff so i'll hope to see you there yeah that's it <laughs> peace out guys